There's something for you guys to figure out, because I sure in hell can't. Everything in this garage is wired correctly. It's got its own breaker box that I brought in. Everything is wired correctly. So, I also have 12 volt DC coming off of the solar and the batteries out back. So, this pole is kind of my 12 volt pole. There's a 12 volt lighter plug here. There's a set of 10 gauge jumpers that uh, have alligator clips on the end. And then I also have a lighter set right here for lighter work. And basically that's where I was. So that's all 12 volt. And it's totally separated naturally from the 110 AC. If it wasn't, we'd have some serious problems. So, I hooked up, I was doing something, and the 12 volt test lead hit the table saw, and it sparked. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, is the negative test lead hooked up to something and maybe laying on it? You know, you're trying to figure out what the hell the problem is. Well, here's what I find. Hooked up old faithful fluke, I've got the 12 volt test lead, the red test lead, hooked up to a 12 volt uh, DC working off of batteries that's it and if I touch this to the, ta to the table saw I'm getting 12 volts somehow this table saw is giving me a negative 12 volt DC and I can't figure out for the life of me how it's doing it there's no 12 volts hooked up to this thing anywhere. There's no 12 volts or AC connected anywhere. If there was, I'd have a serious problem. Uh, I would know. Something would be smoking or burning or not working. I can't figure out why this is giving me 12 volts. Negative. And... Uh, I, I, at the floor, I mean, the, the, the saw is grounded, the wiring is, it's got a whole new breaker box in it. Um, this is on its own independent breaker. Uh, it's on a small uh, subfloor uh, above the concrete floor. Um, it's got the rubber feet on it to keep it from slipping. Uh, so I don't understand why I'm getting 12 volts on this thing when the only thing it is, is it's plugged in to the uh, 110 AC. I should not be seeing a negative 12 volt DC on it. And I can't figure it out, because it's, like I say, it's totally independent and isolated from everything. It's plugged into its own circuit. It's not touching anything. It's not even touching that 2x4, just in case we had something going through that 2x4. And if we did, I'd have a problem there because on the 2x4 I've got studs with negative and positive so we know we're not getting a short there so I don't understand where this is coming from um, and I want to find out because that could be a problem if anybody has any ideas uh, I'd, I'd be willing to listen. Yeah. So we have a 110, 120 AC alternating current um, plugged into its own circuit, its own plug, its own breaker, and a new breaker box that's all new. I am not using the old wiring for any of this. This is all hooked up new, all the power equipment. <clears throat> um, and the 12 volt is its own thing and if they were connected in some way shape or form you would think I'd have some problems going someplace with smoke, burning, fire uh, uh, something not working uh, there'd be an issue I would think so we have two completely isolated systems one being house current, one being 12 volt DC. They're isolated from one another, they're separated from one another, but yet this is showing a 12 volt negative. 
and I can't figure that out. And that could be a problem eventually. So we're gonna see what happens. Anybody have any ideas? I appreciate it.